Hi all of you, welcome back to yet another video. In this video, I'll give you seven reasons that why you not pick Rust as your first programming language if you are absolute beginner. You just started learning about the programming, interested in blockchain development, smart contract development, and you heard about this Rust programming language which you can use to write the smart contract on Solana chain. And you guys are got excited. So if you're a complete beginner, then I would highly encourage you not to focus on Rust. And I'll give you a couple of reasons that why you don't need to pick how you have to learn, what are the things you have to keep in consider when you will learn about the smart contract development, what kind of supports you will get. So I'll talk about all of this. So at the end of this video, I believe that you guys have all your doubts clear. Those of you are interested in Rust programming language and asking me to make a Rust video. So definitely videos will come, but I would like to add one thing that who can follow this that's the main thing video will come you will find a lot of videos a lot of tutorials on rust program language but you have to pick your path that what you have to pick whether you have to go with the rust or you have to go with the other uh, salty javascript and other programming language so when you learn any programming language you have to check all the boxes not only for the learning purpose you have to check that what job opportunity you will get in the industry what project you will get what are the exposure you will have once you will have the skills and what kind of service you will provide so you have to analyze every single boxes and on the base of that you have to pick your balls or pick of the language whatever you can call it so i'll go to highlight seven things i hope this will clear your doubt and that will give you a very good understanding that how you have to start and at the end i will share my particular roadmap which i would suggest you to follow if you're an absolute beginner and wanted to become blockchain developer or a web two developer or web development or backend development so this is the step you can follow which will save a lot of your time and you will have the right direction and you will have a demand in the industry when you will master this technology so with that let's start the video so there is no doubt that rust is a powerful language and you can utilize to build any kind of program it's really powerful and in the past couple of years you have seen that a lot of companies have adapted rust and if you look at the solana they allow to build the smart contract using the rust programming language and they have a very powerful ecosystem which you can find in their solana playground id so they have a multiple framework not as compared to solity we have a multiple frameworks there is tons of framework but in solana and rust we have a very small ecosystem so when it's come to building any custom feature you have to write a lot of code but on the other hand if you're using javascript frameworks if you're using solity framework you have a lot of opportunity a lot of frameworks which you can include in your product whether you talk about open link, whether you talk about chain link, whether you talk about Web3 providers, you will have a tons of provider which you can include in your application. So that's what restrict me when it's come to suggesting anyone to learn about the Rust programming language because you won't find communities, you won't find much support if you're stuck and you have to write huge amount of code. The reason why I'm telling you personally because currently I'm working on a project which is going to be deployed on the Solana chain where I'm building a gaming platform and it has a tokenized system. So like in case of building the smart contract in the Solity, we can simply import the libraries and we'll have all the features. We can do the customization very easily like we can take the NFT contract ID, we can take the staking or we can take the number ERC drop. So we have all of this framework which we can include in the project. But on the other hand, when I have to write the contract, that's what I have noticed because everything I was writing custom, every single thing is custom. And uh, that was taking a lot of time. There is a lot of configuration is there to deploy the contract. So that's my personal point of view. I'm not telling that Rust is bad if you have interest. And if you're learning from somewhere else, definitely you can go with that. But that's the challenge I found. So Rust is powerful, but you will this kind of problem. And the second thing in Rust, we have a couple of new terminology, new syntax, new keyword which you will not find in other programming language. If you talk about borrowing, ownership. So these are the advanced concepts we have in Rust, which plays a very important role in the Rust programming language. And that's what it makes very special to this programming. But you will not find this particular terminology in other programming language, whether you talk about Java, Python, or JavaScript, C++, you won't find this terminology. So there is a difference in the in the terminology in using the keywords. So that's the second downside I found because if you if you're a beginner if you start working on that what will happen sometimes it will create the confusion when you're going to interact with the different programming so that's why i don't recommend rust although it's a very good feature but if you truly understand that how these things work ownership borrowing then it would be easy for you and uh, the third thing which strikes me is the syntax of rust if you look at the other programming language like python javascript like it has a similar structure similar data sets but when it's come to syntax for the functions 
for the variable declarations like you will find a little bit difference and if you're a complete beginner then it's going to create a little bit little bit confusion and the fourth thing i believe that it has a limited ecosystem so if you talk about python javascript c they have libraries they have the inbuilt ecosystem which you can utilize and it has been there for the couple of years so a lot of community you will find a lot of libraries you will find if you want to include any features and you can build it very easily but in rust you won't find that because you have to write everything custom and that's what i have made mentioned in the above you have to write everything custom and that's a lot of work you have to understand the use case of the programming language that why it exists what problem it solves, and where we can utilize this particular programming language in our development so every programming language has its specific use so if you talk about python it's really powerful when it's come to ai model ll model large language model so it's really powerful in that you can train that you can build different powerful ai model which you can build as a SaaS business if you talk about the web development or if you talk about the backend development if you talk about the front-end development in that you can use javascript javascript is really powerful you can literally utilize that if you want to focus on the pro operating design like system development operating system in that you use rust c plus plus java so when it's come to building operating system then you have to focus on the rust so like in our case we are the beginner we are not here to build the system we are here to build application which is going to be run on the blockchain we're going to build a application which is going to be run on a web2 space or web2 space so you have to understand the use case of the programming language okay so that's the thing you have to focus rust is really powerful when it's come to system development because it's provide you low level control which is really powerful when it's come to memory efficiency and the next problem i see is that there are few job opportunity for the rust developer because mainly this rust is used in the system programming so no one's going to hire you if you're a complete beginner to work on this system like they want a experienced developer so like if you are a complete beginner then you you will not get any job as a fresher to work on a program level so that's the few thing very low very less job opportunity you will find but if you talk about python if you talk about java if you talk about javascript you will find a lot of opportunity to enter in the industry so that's the few thing and the last one is my favorite documentation challenge so if you get stuck anywhere and if you are completely beginner you haven't read any documentation before in the past for understanding that how things are working then it's going to create a lot of confusion because the document is quite complicated i would say that as compared to other programming language like there you will have a multiple resources which you can simply follow and you can simply f figure it out and understand that what exactly happening but the documentation when i went through i found that it's not that beginner friendly okay it's not that big enough for me because they have talked about different models straight away they're not giving the proper examples they're talking about the models because they want you to understand the basic structure of the programming language so that's why they have went through that because if you have coded in python or javascript if you are good in those languages then it becomes very easy to understand but if you're a completely beginner then it's going to create a huge confusion for you so these are the couple of reasons i believe that why rust is not good for a beginner absolute beginner definitely you can try it there is a uh, resources which you can follow to learn in their documentation but still that's not sufficient for you to get uh, industry level developer if you follow all of those resources and that's going to create a huge pressure when you have to build anything from scratch okay so that's my point of view again i don't discourage any one of you to simply leave it if you have interest if you have a specific purpose and you are working on a specific project where you need to use this particular programming language then definitely you can go with that there is no issue in that but if you are a complete beginner and you are interested in web development blockchain development smart contract development and wondering to which programming language you have to pick to start learning then javascript and salty is the first choice i would recommend you okay so first you have to learn about javascript javascript is absolutely must learn about little bit html only five percent learn about the basic syntax which you're going to use to build your app learn about learn about little bit of css only five percent understand the basics property like positioning layout grid flex these are the few properties you have to understand then you can design any type of layout three things after that you have to learn about like javascript is already done html css then you have to learn about the salty because once you master javascript the salty is only 20 percent once you're done with that then start away focus on the libraries the frameworks 
focus on the open sub link for the smart contract chain link for the DeFi, or you can focus on the framework like next.js react.js and different libraries we have to build the features third web there is tons of libraries so start focusing this is the way you have to go up and that way you will save a lot of your time and your development will be fast so i hope you guys have got an idea that what you have to do how you have to start and how you have to learn the programming language and what you have to learn exactly so with that i'm ending this video i don't want to extend this video too long i hope you guys have got an idea and if you guys have any question any doubt any query do let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to help you with that have a wonderful day bye, -bye.